Now, here's meteorologist TJ Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the rain is long gone, and now we are looking at dry weather out there, but it's pretty chilly. Let's take a look at what's happening down there in Narragansett. Our skies are brightening up. Sunrise is it for another uh, 40 minutes or so. We can see the eastern horizon getting lit up, get, getting lit up by that sun. And our pictures from downtown Providence, we got all different colors there. We got a little orange and yellow and green and blue. Pretty start to the day as we look on off to the east from Providence. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 rate. Are. We're not finding any rain out there. I'm really not expecting to see any today. There's nothing to kick off any rain showers, but it is cold. We have that frost advisory continuing until 8 o'clock this morning. So another hour and 45 minutes or so temperatures could be falling down into the lower 30s, especially across Bristol County, Massachusetts, where the uh, temperatures are already down below freezing in some spots over there on Route 2 in Warwick, 41 degrees with a light wind about two miles an hour. Elsewhere, we're in the mid to upper 30s in Smithfield and Gloucester, 40 in Coventry, 39 Charlestown, Newport, a little milder there at 46, New Bedford right now at 40. You saw Taunton there already below freezing at 31 degrees. Satellite radar picture showing nothing really going on. We got a big old area of high pressure controlling things right now. It'll control things through the daytime today, so we'll get lots of sunshine. That area of high pressure slides off to our east during the day tomorrow. We'll start off with sun and then we'll begin to see some clouds arrive throughout the day, but I really think we'll be dry right through your Columbus day. So your future cast for this morning. Temperatures climbing through the 40s into the upper 50s by around noontime. And then in the afternoon, let's pinpoint things for you. 60 on the east side, 61 degrees in downtown Providence. Lincoln, west end of Providence into the lower 60s. Over in the Barrington and Warren, around 60 degrees with the winds becoming more onshore during the afternoon today, about uh, five miles an hour. 61 of Warwick, Cranston around 61, taking you down to the south coast. I think we're looking at upper 50s and lower 60s, 61 degrees in westerly Newport at 60 cool and dry up in northern Rhode Island. Perhaps you're planning on going to the Situate Art Festival. Obviously yesterday was a little on the wet side. Today looks a lot better about 59 degrees in the afternoon. Certainly looking at sweater weather for the Situate Art Festival over in southeastern Mass about 61 in Fall River 60 in Taunton over in New Bedford around 60 threat tracker. We are looking at low chances of anything severe right through the daytime tomorrow. Here's your live pinpoint Doppler 12 seven day future cast and we are expecting to see lots of sunshine through the daytime today. If you're heading on up into Woonsocket for the Autumn Fest, lots of sunshine. Temperatures will be topping out around 60 degrees or so during the afternoon and uh, maybe even the Columbus Day Parade over in uh, Providence. Looks OK. Kicks off at 11 o'clock on Federal Hill. Some sunshine and clouds for Monday. Dry Tuesday, 71 degrees. We'll have some extra clouds around slight chance of a shower on Tuesday. Now on Wednesday, we are looking at some dry weather. Uh, with uh, some extra clouds around about 71 degrees. Right now we are keying in on late Thursday and perhaps into the wee hours of your Friday morning for a period of rain uh, there late in the week and it should be drying out for Friday afternoon. Maybe a few more showers next Saturday, but for the next two days looking great here in southern New England. And a little bump in the temperature midweek will feel very good. Yeah, 71 degrees. That'll yeah, be nice. Nice change. All right, TJ, thanks so much.